Hello YouTube, I'm here with yet another Sony Vegas tutorial. Now before I start this, I just want to say that this effect is Andrew Kramer's idea. Uh, he's on videocopilot.net. He makes very good tutorials, and um, usually for After Effects, but for this effect, I decided why not make it for Sony Vegas. And so, I did. But again, Andrew Kramer's idea. Alright, let's get started. Uh, import your footage of you shooting a gun. Totally fake my video, I know, but that's what editing is for. What you're going to want to do is find the frame where you begin to fire the gun. Right there is about it for me. And we're going to want to take a snapshot of that frame. Save it, doesn't matter where. And uh, insert a new video track and put the image right where um, you know you begin to fire the gun. Now we want to make this image only a frame long. So here we go. I'm just going to split it and delete that. So now it's only actually, yeah, it's one frame long. All right, so once you've done that, on your image, go to Event, Pan, and Crop, tick off Mask, zoom in on your gun, and what you're, what we want to do is using the pen tool, just make a mask around the slide of the gun. And also for your feather type, choose both, and give it a little bit of a feather, but make sure it's a small amount. All right zoom back out and go to your position and uh, just to say that whatever you're doing you can see how it would look on the uh, preview pane so if we move this back our slide goes back so get it to about how you want it I need to rotate mine a little make sure it's not too far back because that would be completely unrealistic and we're going for the most realism we can get. Alright, that is good enough for me. You can exit out of that. Now we want to make the barrel and the slide rail. So we have to figure out what would it look like if you know that wasn't there. So we have to get a background shot. So if you keep uh, going along your video, you can find the frame where the gun isn't there. So once you've found that little frame, you want to take a snapshot of it, save it, and this time insert another video track and put your second image right below the first one. And you want to make it one frame long. I'm using the S key for split, so keyboard shortcuts, nothing bad. Now obviously that does not look right. So on your second one, if we drag the opacity down, you can kind of see what it would look like. Now what you want to do is drag your opacity to a 50%-ish, go to Event Pan and Crop, tick off Mask, zoom in. Now here comes the hard part. Uh, unlike After Effects, it's a little harder in Sony Vegas, so using the preview pane, just kind of by eye, you want to uh, make a an E, shall we say. That's how the barrel would be. Just, um, here, look how I do it and stuff. Because, um, here, let me make that little E, because we want some of the background. Connect it. This little dark part will be the barrel. This little dark part is the slide rail. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing, slide, slide rail. And um, close out of that, drag the opacity of your second image all the way up. Now as you can see, that's not how it's supposed to look. So if we go back to event pan and crop, choose our mouse so we can edit it, we can see what we were doing wrong. Alright, so 
Here I'm just getting my you know, slide rail in place. This has to be a little more up. So as you can see what I'm doing here, it's changing that. So again, you kind of have to look at the preview pane to see what you're doing. Drag that up. And that barrel, as you can see, is a little too small. So if I go like that, it's good. All right, that's close enough You know, for now. I mean, you can fine tune it however you want. For the feather type, choose both and make it uh, 0 0.5. You know, that way it gives it a little bit of feather. Now if we look here, looks pretty realistic, except as you can see, my slide is tilted down more. So let me just quick fix that. Alrighty, and there we go. Now, as you can see our slide, it's moving pretty fast if it were in real life, of course. So we have to give that slide a motion blur. And we can do that by going to Video Effects, Gaussian Blur, and just dragging that on the first image. Make sure vertical range is all the way down and your horizontal range. Uh, don't make it you know, too high, but not too low. We kind of want the impression that's moving pretty fast. I just got to fix mine a little more. And there we go. Now if we go by it, frame by frame, you fire and it goes back. Perfect effect right there. Um, all right, now we've gotten our blowback effect. It looks, like I said, pretty good. If we go through it frame by frame, we've got the nice, you know, slide going back, there's slide rail, everything. But uh, if this was all you were looking for, you can just, you know, render it and stop watching the video. However, if you also want to learn how to do a muzzle flash, keep on watching. All right. I already have a muzzle flash effect. It's from Video Copilot and stuff, you know, Action Essentials. Again, Andrew Kramer. Got that. Um, anyways, uh, you first insert a new video track. Whoops. Insert new video track, not duplicate. And you want to put in your muzzle flash right where you know, all this is going on. Mine's already, mine already has an alpha channel, so I uh, chroma keyed it out already, just for time purposes. Uh, if you want to know what I did, if you right click, go to properties, and then go to the media tab on alpha, alpha channel. On straight unmatted, that's what will automatically chroma key it for you. I mean, it'll take out the uh, background. If you don't do it like that, that's what it looks like. So, anyways, you can look up on how to chroma key and stuff. I'm just doing this for time purposes. Now, what you want to do is go to your event pan crop because mine is obviously backwards. So, if I just rotate it. There we go. And drag that onto the barrel. All right, I'm going to have to stop right here, you know, cuz it's almost 10 minutes long, but uh in my next tutorial, I will show, you know, how to make this gun effect look a little more realistic I'm um, using compositing and stuff and we're also going to be looking at lighting you know and how all that works so uh, look for my next tutorial should be out pretty soon you know rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later